you know who we are. The most dangerous morning show. Put some respect on The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlamagne Tha Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, if you just joined us, we're asking... How did you celebrate? What was your reaction when you found out that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris won the election? All right, let's go to the phone lines. Well, let's start in the room first. What did you do, Yee? Um, well, I've been watching the news all day, just waiting for some information. So the first thing I did was pour a drink. And then, you know, I'm in Brooklyn. So they actually outside were playing music really loudly, beeping the horns. They were playing F Trump. So it was fun. What about you, Charlemagne? Uh, my reaction was simple. You know, it's dope. Um, but it's not about feeling good. It's about actually being good. Like, we're just not there yet in this country. And if we allow this administration to govern the way past Democratic administrations have governed, we still won't be good when this is over. So the best thing, you know, this my, my reaction was the best thing we could do is, like, you know, uh, for, for that ticket is to push people to vote for John Ossoff, I think you pronounce his name, and Raphael Warnock in Georgia so Dems can have the Senate majority. With the House, the Senate majority, and Oval Office, they should be able to get some real work done. So that that, that was my mindset. My mindset was like, yo, we got so much work to do, so I don't, I don't want to celebrate too much because I feel like that's the same mistake we made under Obama. Yeah, I mean, I was in the city. Uh, I just finished my, my ride on my bike, and people were cheering. They were blowing horns. They were screaming. They were yelling. It was It was so much excitement. I haven't seen this much excitement in New York City like that in a long time. Mm. In a long, long time. I understand time. everybody being excited. You know what I mean? I, I, like I said, I love Senator Harris. You know, I supported her when she ran for president. Me too. Um, so I'm happy to see her in that position. But it's just, it's hard for me to get too excited because this country has shown me over and over that we have nothing to feel joyous about regardless of who's in office. Okay, well, they well, have we got to... Trump house. Yeah. That's, that's the reason to well, be And there. I think clearly there's work that needs to be done. But after these very stressful few days when we didn't know what was going to happen... It was nice to know for that day that that's what it was. And I was like, I'm going to allow myself to have a great day. Right. I mean, listen, once again, they have to prove to us that they are willing to do the work right. that we want them to do. Like, And, and also, right. this election cannot heal a nation because the only people and the only people that can heal this nation is the people in the nation. Because let's be clear, 70 plus million people still voted for a fascist. So that should tell you everything you need to know about America. So we got a lot of work to do. All right. Well, hello. Who's this? It's busy. What's up, yo? What's up, bro? We're asking, you know, how did you react when you found out Joe Biden and Kamala Harris won the election? I was upset, man. I don't, I don't want my taxes to go up. Dude said he's going to raise taxes as soon as he get in office. I don't think that's you make over four hundred thousand. Yeah, I make over four hundred k. I flip house. I flip commercial property in Duval County. Well, I will say this. You got to make sure you know what your tax breaks are. And I think um, some people might end up still paying less with all these write-offs because you have to think that's my not. CPA, my CPA mm-hmm. said I saved 30% on the Trump. Now, I don't like his character, but, but character can't pay my bills and take care of my family. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. All right. Thank you, bro. We got to lead our family. We can't expect politicians to, to, to show our family character. You know what I'm saying? I, and that's what I was saying. I agree with the four hundred thousand dollars. I mean, I don't think it's going to get passed though. But I mean, if you yeah. if you and I care about tax humanity, sixty percent of their not money, just and me. somebody who's a, a first time person that's finally making money and, and got to support not only themselves but their family, that's that's rough. That's a lot. I think that's a lot. But yeah, you, man. You know, you, we finally we finally get our foot in the game and we making money, and now we got a guy that's going to come in office and start taking it. Man, that's messed up. I don't think it's going to get passed through though. So, all right, Brian. Thank you, brother. All right, yo. Yeah, what? That's an honest answer. I respect his answer. No, it's the truth. Hello, who's this? Doreen. Hey, hey Doreen. Doreen. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning. What was your reaction when you uh, found out Joe Biden and Kamala Harris won? When I, I ran out my apartment door and started doing the praise dance in the hallway. Uh, oh, you was doing the, the two-step in the hallway? I was doing the two-step in the hallway back into my apartment because there's a lesson for us. That was a season that we went through, and God still came and did what he had to do. A hundred percent. If you ain't never believed in God, you better believe in him now. I agree wholeheartedly. I believe that Donald Trump was one of the best things that ever happened to America because we can't unsee what we've seen over the past four years. There you go. And see, they got to understand. Satan bolts and shows what he do. God don't. God sits in the back and holds on to peace, be still. And then that's when he goes in and he does what he has to do. Everybody say, pray it up, let it go, and God did what he had to do. Including the black vote. I don't want to lose that. 
All right. Thank you. Because in Biden's speech, that's what he says. Hello, who's this? Hi, this is Jesse. Hey, Jesse. What was your reaction when you found out that uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, uh, Kamala Harris won the election? I called my daughter and my mom because all three of us, all three generations, um, you know, we all canvassed. We all voted for the last election. We all got our hearts broken. And then I hid from my sister, who's a stance Republican. <laughs> um, <laughs> Damn, she's a Republican and she even supports Trump? Listen, she supports Trump. She was talking crazy. I love her. But she was talking crazy conspiracies coming out the woodwork. I had to talk her off the ledge. She was talking crazy. Oh, that misinformation on Facebook works. <laughs> no, it really does. No, it does. Not, yep. Like, I'm in a, I'm, I happen to be in a certain kind of microcosm. You know, I have all kinds of friends, young and old, purple, orange, green. I had white lesbian friends that voted for Trump on the last election. That's crazy. They probably Sheesh. voted for him, for him this time, too. Uh, uh, the numbers with white women went up 55%. Exactly, exactly. Way more informed. But, you know, it all had to do with other factors. You know, she had been a, a she was a Marine, you know, a, a, although she was a lesbian, but she was a Marine. So he, he struck a chord when he said defend your country and, and, and you know, and, and keep people off your borders. So True. she went with that. I knew black women in the last election that voted for him because they were anti-abortion, you know, and... This one came around, and I, I had a conversation with the one that was anti-abortion. And according to her, we have enough of what we need in, in, um, you know, in the Justice Department. So I don't really need to press that, and I'm not happy with how he's treating black men. So that's why she changed her vote, you know. But I was, I'm, I was so overwhelmed. I just felt like the whole place felt so depressed the very day after, you know, that oh, that last election, and it was like the mm -hmm. elation was like a release. I can't explain it. And to me, even it's, the weather is showing it. Yeah, it does feel right. more the peaceful. The weather was a beautiful day. It's crazy that your <laughs> friend who's a was. lesbian, it's crazy your friend who's a lesbian will vote for Trump though when Trump has rolled back so many LGBTQ exactly, policies. Exactly, but she didn't right. know that he would do these things at the time. Mm, Again, right. like you we said, uninformed. She voted for the guy that she knew who was saying the things that she thought she wanted at the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you, Mama, for calling. Oh, I didn't mean to hang up on him. Hello, who's this? Nicole. Hey, Nicole. What, what were your thoughts when you found out that Kamala Harris and Joe Biden won the election? I immediately started crying. I was already exhausted because I hadn't had any sleep. I swear I was part of CNN team because I was <laughs> up the entire few days watching all the results come in and all the news that they were reporting. So I was exhausted, but I was crying and screaming. <laughs> so I was so excited. Yes, I love it. I was like, I couldn't really sleep good while we were trying to find out what the results I would be. I was, I was up. And I yeah, was, I feel much better. I, said, my, I have a niece in the body. I was like, please go help these people count. I have a friend in Phoenix. I said, go help these people count because we need these results in. I was just so excited. Then I had to hear from my best friend who's in Flint, Michigan. She's an AKA also. And she was like, ski we. I'm like, girl, get off my phone. I'm too tired for all that right now. We <laughs> 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 But I was so excited. <laughs> Good. All right. Now we can get mama. some rest. Yes, I can go. I can get some sleep. <laughs> All right. Well, what's the moral of the story? The moral of the story is we got work to do. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. You know, you, you salute for a moment, take a breath, but we have to hold this administration accountable. And the best thing we could do for this administration right now is to really turn our attention to the Senate runoffs in Georgia. Because if you get John Ossoff, I think I'm saying his last name right, and Raphael Warnock, in, in, in the Senate, then the, then the Democrats will have the Senate majority. And if they got the House, the Senate majority, and the Oval Office, they can get some real work done. And they'll have no excuses to not, you know, take care of their base, which is black people. Because once again, we save their asses in this election.